Hi folks, welcome back to our channel. Usually in our videos, we cover topics about digital nomads, traveling, remote work, and financial aspects that make this lifestyle possible. For example, by owning a property and learning things about interest rates, other financial aspects like home buyer plan and other incentives, you can leverage the ownership of an apartment and work remotely and follow the lifestyle of a digital nomad. In today's video, we would like to touch on the subject of interest rates in Canada. Lately, there's been a lot of movement on stock market, housing prices in major cities have risen to higher than ever numbers, international events brought a lot of uncertainty and goods shortages, and COVID restrictions are still affecting supply chain. In this video, we will unwrap why the government of Canada is rising the interest rates, who it affects, how does it relate to your mortgage, and what might happen in the next meeting on June 1st of 2022. Let's talk about prime rate. The prime rate is the annual interest rate Canada's major banks and financial institutions used to set interest rate for various credit products. This affects most of the people in the country as you may have a line of credit, mortgage, a loan, or it's usually tied to your bank's prime rate. This rate is primarily influenced by the policy interest rate set by Bank of Canada, also known as the Bank of Canada's target for the overnight rate. The bank carries out monetary policy by influencing short-term interest rates. It does this by adjusting the target for the overnight rate on eight fixed dates each year. During each of these meetings, the bank can decide to change the rate, like it did in the previous two meetings. First meeting of the year on January 26 left the rate unchanged, but on March 2nd, the rate was increased by 25 basis points, or 0.25%. This was quickly followed by another 50 basis point rate hike in April 2022, the largest single rate hike in over 20 years. We have five more meetings scheduled for this year. June 1st, July 13th, September 7th, October 26th, and December 7th. On each of these meetings, new interest rate will be announced. It doesn't mean it will be increased, but potentially we have five possible increases this year. When the Bank of Canada raises the overnight rate, it becomes more expensive for banks to borrow money and they raise their respective prime rates for their customers to cover the added costs. And the other way around, when Bank of Canada lowers the overnight rate, banks usually lower their prime rates by the same amount to attract more customers. Historically, the highest ever prime rate in Canada was 20.03% in 1981 due to global oil crisis and OPEC oil embargo. Since then, it was generally going down. In pre-pandemic years of 2018 to 2019, prime rate was stable at the rate of 3.95%. But in the first quarter of 2020, the Bank of Canada was forced to drop the rate due to economic pressure from COVID-19 pandemic. Prime rate dropped to 2.45% and it created favorable conditions for low mortgages and housing market began to grow. There's two types of mortgage rates fixed and variable. They are all dependent on prime rate, but if you choose fixed, it will stay the same until you need to renew. And with variable, your rate will change every time the prime rate changes. High inflation, record high housing prices and rising cost of living has been the running backdrop to Canada's recovery from COVID-19. It's expected that numerous rate hikes will come over the next year to control rising prices as home prices in Canada's housing market see the highest year-over-year -year price growth on record. will continue to rise throughout 2022 as the interest rates soar. It is expected that the prime rate in Canada will be over 4% by the end of this year. Let's review a typical situation of how prime rate change will affect your monthly mortgage payment if you have a variable rate. Let's consider a common situation of 30 years amortization and take an example of your first year of mortgage. The property costs $500,000 and you put 5% down payment up front. So the amount you borrow, your mortgage, will be $475,000. For this example, the starting interest rate will be 2.5%. You can see your monthly payment calculated right here. 
a little over $1800. Let's see how this amount changes when the rate increases by 25 basis points, and another 25 basis points, and so on, until we reach an interest rate of 4%. Now let's visualize these changes. We see our mortgage amount, our initial mortgage rate, and our initial monthly payment. We copied all adjusted monthly payments here, and now let's populate the graph. This is our mortgage rate change. And now we're going to add the percentage by which our monthly payment changed. The graph clearly shows that monthly payment change is way more significant compared to the interest rate percent. With the rate change from 2.5% to 4%, the actual monthly mortgage payment will change by more than 20%. So fixed rate will better suit the buyers who like to have stability in their monthly budget planning and know the exact amount they will be paying each month. Thank you for watching this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Let us know in the comment section down below what kind of mortgage interest rate you have and whether you're happy with it. Till next time!